Hello everyone, you are welcome. How to solve this interesting algebra math problem, which is A times B is equal to 100, B times C is equal to 200, C times A is equal to 300. So here we will try to find out the value of A plus B plus C. So how can we solve this problem? Here first of all, let us suppose this is equation number first, this is equation number second, and this is equation number third. Now here first of all, here we will do some steps. So in the first step, we will multiply equation number first and second, and we will divide the result with three. Equation number third. So let's multiply equation number first, second. So this will become a times b times bc divided by equation number third is ca. Now let's multiply the right hand side. So this will become a a b is equal to one hundred times b c is equal to two hundred. Divided by C is equal to 300. So here we will cancel these two zeros with these two zeros. And here we will cancel this C with this C. And this A with this A. So this will become B times B which is B square. Is equal to 100 times 2 is simply 200. So this will become 200 divided by 3. So let us suppose this is equation number 4 which is the value of B square. Now here we will try to multiply equation number first with equation number third and we will divide the result with equation number second. So let's multiply equation number first with equation number third. So A times B times C A divided by equation number second is B C is equal to. Now let's multiply the right hand side. So A B is equal to 100 times C is equal to 300 divided by b c is equal to 200 now again we will cancel these two zeros with these two zeros and here this c will be cancelled with this c and this b will be cancelled with this b so the value of a square will become a times a is 100 times 3 is simply 300 divided by 2 no 300 divided by 2 gives him 150 so the value of a square is 150 let us suppose this is equation number fifth equation number 5 now to find out the value of uh, c square here we will multiply equation number second and equation number third and we will divide the result by equation number first so let's multiply equation number second and third equation number second bc times equation number third ca divided by equation number first is ab is equal to now let's multiply their values bc is equal to 200 so this is 200 times C is equal to 300 divided by AB is equal to 100. So again we will cancel these two zeros with these two zeros. So this will become 200 times 3 which is 600. And here this B will be cancelled with this B and this A will be cancelled with this A. So the value of C square will become 600. So let us suppose this is equation number 6. Now what we will do here, now to find out the value of a plus b plus c, here we will use an algebraic identity, a plus b plus c whole square identity. So here in this tip we will use this one algebraic identity, a plus b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 times ab plus bc plus c a so here we will substitute the values of a square b square c square and a b b c c a from equation number first second and to equation number six so this identity this equation will become a plus b plus c whole square is equal to here the value of a square is simply 150 plus the value of b square is 200 divided by 3 and the value of c square is 600 plus 2 times the value of a b which is 100 the value of b c is 200 and the value of c a is 300 so let us substitute these values here so the value of a b is 100 plus the value of b c is 200 plus the value of c a is 300 now let's simplify this right hand side so this will become 150 plus this is 200 divided by 3 plus this is 
सिक्स हंड्रेड प्लस नो वन हंड्रेड प्लस टू हंड्रेड इज थ्री हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड प्लस थ्री हंड्रेड इज सिक्स हंड्रेड सिक्स हंड्रेड टाइम टू इज अबाउट ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड सो दिस इज ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड हेयर विल टेक इल सीम ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दीज नंबर सो हेयर द डिनोमिनेटर इन दिस थ्री नंबर इज वन वन सो द इल सीम ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दीज नंबर इज थ्री सो दिस विल बी कम इल सीम इज थ्री नो डिवाइडिंग थ्री बाई वन क्यों सिम थ्री थ्री टाइम वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी इज अबाउट फोर हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी प्लस डिवाइडिंग थ्री बाई थ्री क्यों सिम वन वन टाइम टू हंड्रेड इज टू हंड्रेड दिस विल बिकम टू हंड्रेड प्लस नो डिवाइडिंग थ्री बाई वन क्यों सिम थ्री थ्री टाइम सिक्स हंड्रेड इज अबाउट एटीन हंड्रेड प्लस नो डिवाइडिंग थ्री बाई वन क्यों सिम थ्री थ्री टाइम्स ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड इज अबाउट थ्री टाइम जीरो इज जीरो थ्री टाइम जीरो इज जीरो थ्री टाइम टू इज सिक्स एंड थ्री टाइम वन इज थ्री सो दिस इज थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड हेल्प विल एड ऑल ऑफ दीज नंबर सो दिस विल बिकम जीरो प्लस जीरो प्लस जीरो प्लस जीरो इज जीरो नो नेक्स्ट इज जीरो प्लस जीरो प्लस जीरो प्लस फाइव इज फाइव दिस इज फाइव नेक्स्ट इज सिक्स प्लस एट इज फोर्टीन फोर्टीन प्लस टू इज सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन प्लस फोर इज ट्वेंटी दिस इज बिकम जीरो टू विल बी कैरी थ्री सो थ्री प्लस टू इज फाइव फाइव प्लस वन इज सिक्स सो दिस इज क्यों सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री सो हेयर द वैल्यू ऑफ ए प्लस बी प्लस सी हाउस स्क्वेयर विल बी कम दिस इम्प्लाइज ए प्लस बी प्लस सी हाउस स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू दिस वैल्यू इज गिवस क्वीन सिक्स जीरो फाइव जीरो डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री हेल्प यू ट्राई टू एलिमिनेट दिस स्क्र फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड नो टू एलिमिनेट दिस स्क्र फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वी विल टेक स्क्र रूट ऑन बोथ साइड्स So let us take square root on both sides. So here this square and this square will be cancelled, and here this square will be applied on the numerator as well as on the denominator. So this will become square root of six zero five zero divided by square root of three. Now here we will try to factorize this one number six zero five zero. So we'll factorize this number here. So six zero five zero is a uh, in even number which is divisible by two. So two times three is six zero. Two times two is four. One will become here. It will become ten. Two times five is ten. Now this is divisible by five. Five times six is thirty. This will become here. And five times five is twenty-five. Now this is again divisible by five. Five times one is five. This will become ten. Five times two is ten. And five times one is five. Now this is divisible by eleven. So eleven times eleven is one hundred twenty-one. Now again it is divisible by eleven. Eleven times one is eleven. So the final factorization of six thousand fifty is six zero five zero is equal to. It can be written as two times here five is two times. This will become five square times eleven is also two times. So this will become eleven square. So here we will replace this number with this prime factorization. So this will become the value of a plus b plus c will become. The root of now this number is simply two times five square times eleven square divided by square root of three. Now here we split this square root over all of these three numbers, so this will become square root of two times square root of five square times square root of eleven square divided by square root of three. Now here this square and this square will be cancelled. This square and this square will be cancelled. So this will become five times eleven, which is fifty-five. So this right hand side will become a plus b plus c is equal to. This is fifty-five times square root of two divided by square root of three. So this is our answer in terms of square root. We can further simplify this denominator by multiplying this number in the numerator and denominator. So let's multiply square root of three in the numerator and also in the denominator. So this will become. Square root of three. So here we will multiply the numbers inside the square roots. So this will become fifty-five times square root of two times three is six. So this will become six. And here the same number is two times. So we will change it to square form. So this will become square root of three whole square. So this square, this square will be cancelled. So this will become only three. So the final value of a plus b plus c will become. Fifty-five times square root of six divided by three. So this is our final answer and our final value.